everyone, John here. I uh, thought I'd show you in this hive. We'd like, I'd like to uh, go through the hive with you and identify all the different things that's going on in there. So we might see queen cells, we might see drones, cat drones, we might see workers, cat, larvae, eggs. I thought we'd go through it together and see uh, all what's going on. Now this is known as a brood and a half because we've got the national brood down here and a half there, which is normally a super, but the the queen excluder is above it, it turns this into a brood and a half. So the queen should be laying eggs and larvae should all be in here in a, a rugby sort of football or rugby ball shape of brood and larvae all in there. So hopefully in the, this box and this box will be full of brood and eggs and everything. There's the queen excluder and this is the honey super. I only put on five days ago so I wouldn't think there would be anything in there just yet because I left loads of room in here so the queen will be laying and building that up. So we're we'll going together and have a look and see what we can see. Here we go. Well, you can see it's quite active at the moment and if you look on the right hand side of the brood box, the lower one, we've got a white mark. I've got that white mark on there. Uh, helps when you've got a few hives about for the bees to identify which one is theirs stops a little bit of drifting right, I'll take the uh, roof off I'll put that there for a minute now I'm going to take the crown board and the super straight off and um, Put that to one side, there's nothing much in that. Can I have the smoker in? I'll give them a little bit of smoke. If, um, we've got the queen excluded here and the queen can't come up through there because the holes are too small for the body of the queen to get through. Also drones can't come up as well. Um, we'll take this off very gently. And we'll look on the underneath of this queen excluder just to check the queen isn't on there. Because I don't want to lose her. Queen lay a lot. And um, I'm looking on the bottom of this and she didn't appear to be on there so I'll put that in front of the hive down there and the bees can run up it into the just gonna give them a little tiny bit of smoke. There's a lot of bees in this hive. It looks I put a the last time I looked in there there was quite a bit of space uh, plenty of room for the queen to lay and I and manipulate the frames a bit so that she could lay all in here and everything so we'll see what's going on now I'll go straight down to the brood box it might be a bit easier to find the queen you see the amount of bees that are in here there's quite a few isn't there so if we go through this bottom box first pretty well jam of bees but this has just got a little bit of nectar in there and this side is completely empty so this is this one is an ideal frame to put in the middle so that the queen can lay some eggs in that one have a look through here well this is all nectar in there Lynn look full of nectar. We've got plenty of room here to move the frames look. Oh, this is full of this is drone brood in here. It's mostly drone brood there. There is some worker brood here. Just there there's some worker brood. All this with the bumps on raised up bumps, that's all drone brood. So first 
first look, so it looks like they're going to create a lot of drones in this way. We'll look for the queen, see if we can see her then. This, heart, this frame here is full of larvae and eggs. No queen on there then, is there? Right. That whole frame has got a complete amount of larvae and eggs in it and I'm going to see if I can take a picture of that or get in close. Hold it. I've got this little one. I've got this for stand. This is all full of eggs and larvae in there. This frame, you see this frame is um, a frame that is completely full of capped worker brood. It's all capped and it's very flat, the cappings, and it's a biscuit colour and um, it's a nice shape of brood. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, see going up here, the top box it would carry on up the top box and round here like this, it would be like that in the top box. So the pattern of brood is really quite good in this. So that's all worker brood in there, you can see it's all flat. And it's worker brood this side as well. Although it's um, got quite a few drone in here, drone brood as well, it's it's not a uh, drone laying queen, it's got loads of eggs and larvae as well. So we can see on this frame, this is a, a very nice frame as well, full of cat brood, which is all nice and flat, nice biscuit colour. We can look on this one, we can look onto this frame here, and just here, you can see little bumps, look, that's the drone brood, that's um, capped over, and this is the worker brood, here, all the flat. And the worker brood here, this is going to emerge from egg to emerging in 21 days. The drone is 24 days, the queen is 16 days. We'll show you a queen cell now one from last year, so you can see the difference. Let's see if it's on there. This is a new frame I put in earlier, and the bees have drawn this out, and the queen has laid eggs, and they've all, they've all been capped now, so it's a nice frame of cat brood on there as well. Look, it's all flat. You can see it's not drone brood. Now, if they're going to swarm, this is what they, they make a queen cell like this and the queen cells are normally at the bottom of the frame. So, let me show you. So this queen cell would normally be about there like that at the bottom of a uh, frame, there'd be about 15 of them. Uh, you see it's like peanut shaped. It's quite large, much bigger than a drone brood, and uh, what happens is the queen, there's a capping on it, look, and that opens up and the queen emerges out of there. So that's a queen cell, and there will be about 15 of them if they were swarming.
the Queen of Merlin, is it? No. Nope. No. There's a lot of bees in here to find a queen, so we probably won't find her because they're absolutely low. But I know it is a big queen because we show the difference now of um, worker and a drone. Right. We have a look on here. This is a very young bee come out look. It's still got fur on that one. And if you look at its wings, it's got no wing virus. The wings are nice and smooth. They're not all chewed up. And all these bees, you look at the wings, they're okay. This one here is a baby bee and it's in good condition. These are all workers. This one here where the pointer is, this one is a drone. Can you see the big eyes on it look? Big eyes and a big abdomen big thorax, it's about nearly twice the size about nearly twice the size of a normal bee and there's another one there like a drone there's a drone you see the difference in the size that's the male the drone and the female is there look a little female worker oh there's the queen now look queen Asolda uh, no not Asolda that's Queen Leolot there she is, so I'll put her into a cage to keep us. I'm going to use these cages, this is uh, better than the. Um... Oh, so it's better. Uh, she's in. I like these cages a, bit, a little bit better than the. Um... Where is it? Yeah, these roller cages, better than the queen clap clips. Markings very faint on there now, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. I'll put that down there a minute. See, there's another really good pattern of brood there, cat brood, so that's why she's named Queen Leia a lot. And that's both sides. And there is a frame of pollen. So if we can look into there, you can see different colours in the bottom and that is a pollen frame so they they feed the larvae on that that's why you, you know it's good to see pollen coming in so that's a nice frame of pollen there now we've got this I'm moving this over look to show you something Queen there a minute. This frame here is almost empty. There's loads of room there for a queen to lay, so I'm going to put that there, Lynn, if you can do that for me. Put that down in there. That's it. Now the queen, you can hold that one in. Uh, now the queen can lay in the here. That just help prevent swarming a little bit. I'm put this one back in. Okay. 
marking it, come on, I've got a jump. I've got a pen and I've got a pen. Have you been in the car? Usually. Do you want to get it? Could do, couldn't you? It's a white one then. We'll use the white one because it's brighter. Because the mark has come off this pet, off this queen, I'm going to remark it. And what I like to do is use, I'll take my gloves off, dry my hands, <laughs> make sure my hands are nice and dry, and now I'll um, queen lay a lot on this spray mill there. Can you get that end out for me? Mm -hmm. It will it down there like that. Yeah. I've got the pen ready. It's going to lay a lot there, look. We just want to mark Queen Lay a lot. Just have a look through this top box now. Let's see what's going on in here. This is just um, this is just um, nectar in there. Look, nice and shiny in the sun. You can probably see it. And again, I've got two or three inches gap there, so I can easily get these out without squashing any bees. And there's nectar in there as well. This is um, capped honey here. Yeah, that's it. yeah this is all capped honey, look. Uh, it's flat. It looks like drone brew, but it's not, it's honey. And you can, um, look, it's all nice and soft in there. And there's a drone there, look and they're putting nectar around that. This is absolutely full of eggs in that frame. I would like to somehow get a good picture of that, Lynn, if we could. Need to hold it. If you hold that like that, Lynn, you hold that about there, if you could. That's it. So, all, every single one of these cells has got um, a day old or two day old egg in it. And they're quite easily to see with the sun on them, but I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. But that's all full of eggs. see this frame here, this frame you can clearly see where the brood was on the bottom box, this is the top box, look, and the circle of cat brood is around there, so that would make a complete circle with the whole amount, see, together. So this whole um, box is probably full like that as well, so the Queen is really doing an excellent job, and on this side we've got some more drone brood here. All along the bottom there is drone brood. This is where you're going to get queen cells if you get any. 
is along the bottom and there's none there. We might see a Queen Cup in a minute and I'll show you a or play cup maybe. There's none there. See that again is completely full of capped worker brood and it's all nice and flat. You see the lovely colour of it, the biscuit colour, nice and flat. There's no indented um, cells at all because if you get anything bit strange you know then they could have a virus and you can see uh, there's a bee there I don't know if we can see that yeah bee there look with red pollen on it you see just there on my finger it's going around it's got red pollen that's got yellow pollen there's a drone there's a drone um, larvae there that's been damaged I'll get that out and we'll see if it's got any We'll see if it's got any um, mites in it, and it hasn't. You can go like that and clean it and have a look, because it was damaged anyway. And just to see if there's any mites in the cell or in the drone, and there wasn't. So there's no, no mite in that one. You can see there's still quite a lot of drone brood here because you can pick that out. There's a there's quite a few big drones here. Look, see the big ones, and the dr the drones they don't have a sting. Obviously, you can pick them up with no problem. That's a drone with it's got no sting. Um, they only live for about three weeks, and so they have no sting. I really do like drones. I think they're a lovely. Thing in the hive. This is all full of eggs as well, this frame. Eggs and larvae in there and pollen, that's got everything in this one. Um, right in this one, all this here is pollen and this around here is larvae and eggs and there's some pollen on the edge there so um, this hive is very very good condition it's a lovely queen this and it's well worth breeding from her later on in the year ah oh, look this is an interesting frame this has got loads of that brood on it, um, drone brood. If I put that there like that, you can see it. You see all this here? This is all drone brood. Look, you see the bumps on it. There's a bump on that one. That's drone. And there's pollen in here. So this is quite a large amount of drones are becoming. So it's a small sign that it could be thinking about swarming in the future. So I'll put this away now. So queen laying a lot is laying a lot and the hive is very busy and I have got a super on it so they have got room and um, I hope it's been interesting to you because it's certainly been interesting to me and you, hasn't it Lynn? It certainly has. We it's found the queen so it? that was all right. Hmm? It's always interesting. Yes, very nice to see them in such good condition going in and out. So. Thanks for watching everyone and uh, for me and Lynn, see you on the next episode. Ta-da everyone. Bye.